Hello, dear children and dear parents. Welcome to my series about people in the Bible. These were people like me and you who lived in Bible times. Today we are reading about Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. After God created heaven and earth with everything in them, he thought it would be good to create man. So God created Adam, the first man whose name was also the earthman, because he was created from the clay of the earth. God also created a beautiful garden called the Garden of Eden. There were all kinds of trees with different tasty fruits. In the middle of the garden, there were the tree of life and the tree of knowledge. God put Adam in the Garden of Eden to work it and to guard it. One day, God made the animals and the birds. They brought joy and comfort in Adam's life, and he gave them all different names. Yet, from time to time, Adam felt alone. He would have so liked to have someone he could talk to, someone he could share the wonder of everything God had created. God understood Adam's wish and prepared a huge surprise for him. He brought over Adam a deep sleep. And while he was asleep, God made a very special surgery on him. He took out one of his ribs and closed back the wound. Adam not feeling any pain whatsoever. Of course, God could do something like this because he is God. Using that rib, God made a wonderful woman, a wife for Adam. When he woke up, he was so happy to see Eve and he said, Finally, God answered my prayer and gave me a wife who is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She will be the mother of all who will be born on earth. Adam and Eve are the first people to ever have lived on earth. All the people trace back all the way to Adam and Eve, including you and me. Now, let's say a prayer to thank God for everything He created and for giving you and me life. Dear Lord, I praise you and thank you for decorating the earth and the heavens so beautifully so that we humans could enjoy it and be happy. Thank you for creating the human being, which is the crown of your entire creation. None of this earth is like you. No one can create what you have created. Thank you for giving me life. Help me to live my life for your glory. Please give me the wisdom to always appreciate everything you do and always be thankful. Amen. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed the story and were blessed by it. Don't hesitate to come back tomorrow to find out what happened next. If you like this story, please don't forget to give this video a like and to subscribe to my channel for more amazing stories. Goodbye for now!